Hi everyone and welcome back to another cello technique lesson. I'm Ilya Laprev, cellist, and in today's video I will give you five tips in order to master any scales you want. Recently I have opened a Patreon supporter page where you can support my work. If you click on the link in the video description below you will find different packages. Any support is welcome and this will help me a lot to grow my channel. Right, before we go into the tips and thoughts that I have right here for you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and for the ones that are subscribed already, welcome back and I hope you will enjoy this lesson. Right, scales. For some of us, it's not the most exciting thing to do. They seem very basic, but if you want to do it the correct way, the right way, then it can be hard. In this video, as mentioned before, I will pass you five tips and the knowledge that I've got from my teachers. I hope they will be helpful for you to put in practice. Now, let me play for you a random scale, a total random scale. Three octaves, F major, four notes per bow, so that you can clearly see things, how they work. Shall we? Tip number one, and this tip probably you have heard before on other YouTube videos, but let me remind you again what it is. Strong and very articulated fingers. Why? Because if you don't have a strong left hand and articulated fingers, like this here, then you will not have a good precision. And when you don't have a good precision, then your intonation is gonna be wishy-washy, or in other words, bad. And here goes step number two, which is train your ears. I hear that many people are using a pedal note as a base to listen to their intonation. Okay, fine, that's good. I am not against it, but I don't really, really recommend you to do that. You need to train your ears. I mean, for people that are beginners or that are playing the cello as a hobby, that's a great tool to use. But for advanced and professional cellists, I have one thing to say for you. Stay out of the comfort zone and use your ears, because your ears are your best weapon. Of course, sometimes it happens that we don't hear precisely when we are sitting in the first person, like I'm sitting right here, I can play something and I don't hear like if it's the right, right intonation, the person who is going to sit in front of you, so the third person is going to hear it better. So I'm going to show you now an example, like I'm going to hit like a wrong note, but then I'm going to see how can I fix this my way. Of course, there are many other ways, but I'm going to show you my way, how I fix this. Let's do this.
tip number three, and that is left hand anticipation, or in other words, know what is the next note. So always prepare in advance, not only in the fingers, but also in the brain. Because if you don't have this good left anticipation, if you're not knowing exactly which note will happen next, then this will happen. Now we go to tip number four, which is the last tip for the left hand. And this tip we're going to talk and I'm going to show you some examples, which is changes or position changes or shiftings as you want to call them. Anyway, they have to be quick, light and smooth. So you need to be very quick. You cannot have these lazy changes because if you're going to have lazy changes, then the next note that you want to hit it's going to be wishy-washy or, as I said before, bad and not precise and not accurate. So let me show you now two examples, one with quick shiftings, but in the meantime, light and smooth and the other one quite lazy. Let's do this. Right, now that we have done everything for the left hand, let's jump right into the right hand. And I promise you that it is going to be a pretty quick one, so no worries. Okay, so here we are, tip number five, which is for the bow, for the right hand. Here we will talk about bow distribution, or in other words, the right amount of use of the bow. This is very crucial. Probably it's one of the most important things in cello playing, not only here in skills, but in any kind of repertory. You can have the best left hand ever in the world, but if you don't have a good bow distribution, then you're going to have difficulties. So a common mistake that I often see is when people are playing the scale slowly, so they're playing four notes per bow, everything goes fine, right? and they have a good, equal, precise bow distribution. But when it comes to a faster tempo, such as eight notes per bow, which is the double tempo, then they don't have an equal bowing. The problem here is that both hands are synchronizing with each other. So when they play faster, then the hand, the right hand goes faster as well. No, that is wrong. You have to desynchronize. It has nothing to do. Everything should be equal. So when we play four notes like ba 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 bam, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two. So see, nothing changes in the left hand. This is a little bit tricky. You just need to get used to it. But this is very important that the only thing that will change is the tempo in the left hand. The bow stays the same way. Anyway, I'll show you now here some examples. Let's do this.
So these are the five tips that I have here for you in order to master your scales and to bring your scales to the next level. But I still have one bonus tip for you, which is play scales musically. Play scales musically. Approach this as you would approach any kind of music. I don't know, Haydn Concerto, Bach Cello Suites, Forer LG, and so on. So play scales musically. Don't just see scales as just a warm-up, so don't just play, you know, stupidly like an etude. No, let's kill already a few birds with one hit. This is very important because trust me, this will definitely help you in further repertoire like etudes, pieces, concertos, sonatas and so on. Because when we are going to play this musically, I'm doing musically because it's it's difficult to play scales musically because here you're gonna take care of intonation, sound, a beautiful phrasing and a great bow connection. All right, I hope that this information was useful and helpful for you. But before I will say goodbye, there is some book that I highly recommend for you, which is this book, The Art of Scales by Wells Cunningham. There is a link in the video description below where you can click on it and buy this book. I highly recommend this book because this book not only has all kind of scales, but it also has arpeggios from the Carl Flesch system and it has thirds, sexts, octaves, the double stop. So this is a really great book that I highly recommend. This is a book that I use to my students and I apply it to myself as well. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you in the next cello lesson. See you. Bye bye.